Hey there, math fans. A continued discussion on the phases of the moon. In the lower corner of the screen there, you'll see the phases of the moon from my Desmos 2D animation. Watch that previous video uh, if you are curious about that. In this one, I want to talk about 3D. Now, you might say that picture that you're showing looks like it's 2D. And it is, except it's not. This is Desmos 3D. Um, I put a few things in here. You can see the moon. The moon's coming from far away. I just gave some arrows so you can see the direction of the moon. You can see the same side of the earth and moon are lit up by the sun. And you can see the, um, the angle. The moon actually has a little bit of a tilted angle at which it rotates. So because of that tilted angle, why you don't have very many very often that there's an eclipse. There's only a very small part of this where the shadow is big enough that that could happen, but that's a different story. You'd have to really spread this out. What I just what I did here to help me understand, and up in the corner I made a little visual, uh, 2D visual um, of the moon phases. But what I did is I put Seattle on there. Seattle's that little green dot. That's the latitude for Seattle. And I said, well, what do we see of the moon when we're in Seattle? So what is our perspective? So at a given moment, let's say we're standing at Seattle, we're looking at the moon. Yes, half the moon is lit, but what we're looking at is the bright side. We're seeing this perspective. It's really a projection question. So for my Calculus 3 students, you could say, if you had a sphere and you have a plane that's cutting it in half that goes through the center, can you find equations, parametric equations, for the curve that describes the great circle going around it? Can you use that to animate? That's exactly how I did this. So using a little bit of calculus. So I'm just using this as a laboratory to talk about calculus 3D. All right, I'll show one more visual in a second. Hope you found this interesting. Um, this next one will be about the orbit. And I'll follow up with some more details about the math itself.